question. 1,512. Would you rather save your pet or save an unknown child you don't know from an accident? Child. Child. I'll, I'll go. I'll save the child. I need to know the conditions. I'm sorry. Well, I will go. I'll yeah. go with the fire. I'll go with the fire. On the room on your well, left contains your 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 <coughs> pet, your favourite pet. The room on the right contains contains a four year old. But the they have to be fucking four, don't they? You prick. Okay. Well, but okay. <clears throat> but we we could um. Okay. We. But we could work on the logic then that if, if for some reason we're unable to get the telephone, uh, so the telephone and fire, get the fire brigade out in time. Now, we established earlier how loud a child screaming is. It probably would have alerted the fire brigade. Right. Stop trying to find so... excuses. You can save one or the other. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was looking for a justification to save the pet if I could. That was <laughs> Uh, Ant Chair says my pet. Nerdy says my pet is getting saved. Thanks. Uh, I don't even think it's. I don't even think it's optional. I think instinctually we would save the human. You don't know the human though. You it doesn't do know matter. The pet. Like you have a deep pet. emotional attachment to the, to the pet. No, the, the, yeah. who, who the person is doesn't matter. Yeah, it's like we protect humans first, just instinctually. Um, <laughs> Not necessarily. No, I don't know. I don't know on that one. No, you see, okay, okay. If it was, if it, if it was my cat, my cat is a little fucking Houdini, so he could have gotten out of anywhere. He if couldn't. it was one of my, yes, he could, yes, he could. No, he could, and, um, he could you, not. That's the point. There was no I'm way thinking. out short of you was, saving him. If it was one of my goats, not a fucking hope would they have gotten out, so it would have gone pretty goat. So it depends no, on the. It, it depends on the pet. It's which. <laughs> It's the cat. It's your cat, <laughs> but it can't get out. So the uh, so basically the an the answer to this question is whatever floats you go. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry That's I had terrible. to do it. I had right. to do it. Julie says child. Tusk says what sort of pet? Any pet you want. I'm going for the one you're most likely to, to want to save. Uh, See, I don't says, like humans. I don't really like humans, so I'm more of a, an animal person anyway. So. Mm. I, I, I know lots of people that would go animal. It's, it's the emotional attachment. Yeah, that, that's that, that's very specific yeah, that's... question. Any anyone anyone that would leave a child of four years old in my care <laughs> is asking for is basically asking for a fire to happen. So I'm sorry. Uh, Tusk says, if I just unwrapped a fresh tiger, then there's no way I'm leaving that behind. Okay, Aunt Jer, I said I'd save my cat and not be sorry about it. Larry Lett says, my instinct says child, but my heart says pet. My fur kids and my family all rescues mm -hmm. and two are disabled. Uh, I, I, have, I, have, I have a question. So you're, so you're in this dilemma and you have to make a choice. Who's yeah. going to find out? Well, no one. You. <laughs> Say again? What you. What you'll child. have to live with. Uh, Never Again says, I have two hands, I'll open my pet's door, and then the child's, and then we have no problem. No, you yeah. cannot save both of them, that's the point. Uh, Ox says, child of course, and then mourn the pet. Lone Wanderer says, pet. Nerdy says, the parents can rescue the child. <laughs> Fair enough. Aunt Jer says, instinct will my ass, fuck the kid, my cat is more important to me. I, uh, I, I think... Uh... Well, I, I think a goldfish bowl is going to be a lot easier to carry than a child. <laughs> yeah, but the fire brigade can say the you goldfish. If you create a goldfish for a child, I would personally get <laughs> off them. I, 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 have, I have a very deep emotional attachment to my goldfish. Which is why I would chop your head off if we don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need you. Yeah, Neary says, pet, they don't whine. <laughs> Oh, my dog definitely <laughs> whines a lot. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, Tusk, just... hang on. Tusk is now um, cheating 
Wait, you wait, do wait, not wait. have you do not have a phoenix. <laughs> yes. It can't just burn <laughs> all it likes. Right, just wait. I need to double check Esther's answer because she needs to run away. Esther. Child. You're gonna save the child regardless. Excellent. Right, thank you very much for coming. Do you have anything to shield before you run away? Sorry, say that again. Do you have anything you want to shield before you run away? No. Nope. No. No. Make sure you're all subscribed to her. Her link is in the description. We will catch you again soon. And hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully be posting a video tonight. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. Right. I love your accent. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, the Tusk said the pet's got to be able to exist. Yes, of course. <laughs> Stop cheating, Tusk. Stop cheating. Uh, Brainbrook says, The sound of the human ch child crying would give me a reflex. No choice about it. A re would give you a reflex, but that doesn't mean to say, was that, is that as you were carrying your pet out? Uh, Never Again says, Don't leave me in charge of a child. In other words, I'd refuse anyway. Julie says, Small humans create a protection response in most people. I, they do. I don't deny that the small child. And if there was a choice Probably between. Probably small animals. But my point is, if there was a choice between a child and a dog I didn't know, I'll go with the child. Of course. Oh, straight away. The like, cry of a my child. dog and the hmm. child. Say again. The, the cry of a child is, has a power hmm. over people that is. <laughs> is just kind of like um beyond anything you can imagine but if I, you've had a pet if you've had a pet for like 12 years or eight years or whatever and that was your and that was your only attachment in life you're you're gonna have more of an attachment to the pet i don't care well, how hard the, the child cries and screams you're gonna pick the pet i just had to give up a pet that i had for 12 years yeah sorry to hear for, that for seven 24 7. For is that because it was old or because because I could no longer take care of him. Oh that's that's heartbreaking. It well, is. Um and I would go for the child. Because <laughs> I I once when I worked when I worked on this psych unit, we had this one nurse there, Mary Ellen. Um she was she was really nice, kind of a kind of a hyperactive, semi flighty woman, but very brilliant, very, very smart, very, very good with the patients. Um she she got pregnant for her first time, and um, the pregnancy went normal. She delivered the the child, came back to work about a month or two later, and and she had this really interesting thing go on where uh, anytime and and I saw I saw it happen myself in, in the hotel I mean in the hospital cafeteria, um, a baby cries, her milk drops instantly, just gushes. Mm. Um, so tell me that there's not something that, that a baby's cry doesn't do to a person. But again, it depends on the person. Not everyone has that matriarchal <laughs> or that, that kind of response. Two seconds. I've just got to get to Aunt Jess, I, Aunt Jess thing. Because if, it's really relevant. If, in, the, in, the whole, in the whole of the situation, I, I think <laughs> everybody would. It, I'm in, not in convinced. A calm, calm summer day having a picnic. No, I don't think so. I think on a more fundamental way, they would just because it's how we evolved. We wouldn't have survived if we didn't do that. No, that because we are explicit. We explicitly have but the the human, even the humans that are ours and other. We don't protect other for a reason. Mm. I, I'm just going to say this: steaming cup of reason is dead to me now. <laughs> See, you know, says, "Sorry, save the child. A human life supersedes all. In such a case, that's just the way it is." You're dead to me I, now. I, I shall make to sure me. to bring up on Monday that he has killed the goat. Monday, he he couldn't kill the goat if he tried. The goat would kick his ass. <laughs> Right, uh, Ox says, "Lol, I was going to say pet, but didn't want to be an ass. But yeah, screw the kids. That's on the parents." Whoop whoop. Animal Science CV says, Your pet man, overpopulation is the number one problem on Earth. Aunt Jer says, If I can't have kids, why should I care about other people's kids? And then says, If I save the child, can I keep it? Finders keepers? Yes. Finders keepers. 
I mean, at the end of the day, if you Why weren't there, you want to keep it? if you weren't there, it would have died anyway. So it only seems fair that you get to keep it. Why would you want to keep it? <laughs> I want a kid. Mm. Well, um, okay. I mean, you know, unless I can sell it on. Who's? Uh, there's someone's joke, and I've forgotten who it was now. Oh, it was uh, what's his face that does eight out of ten cats. Jimmy Carr. Nope. nope. The one. The one on the left. Team leader on the oh. left. Oh, I don't. I don't remember who the team leaders are on there. He also, he also the one that hates eight out of ten. It's not not John Richardson. I can see his face. I just can't yeah. remember his name. Um, which, and he says, which, which, "Which do you let burn? Which one tastes better?" <laughs> he says, "When I was growing up and I first got married, I wanted three kids. Now, 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 now I've got two. I don't want any." <laughs> um, Tusk says, "Okay, then dragon. Dragons aren't real either." And can't have You're not a dragon. dragon. <laughs> uh, be- bearded okay. dragon is technically real. No, he, just... he does, and, and he, he and does have. Survive. He does have something of the sort. I'm not going to say what he has, but he does have a lizard of a sort. But that no, it does, still doesn't fucking work. No, no, you can't have a dragon. There was that there was dragon on YouTube though that showed us that dragon skeleton in in the in the rocks. You know. Oh, don't <laughs> even put <laughs> fossils. Fuck off. <laughs> Right, Julie says, Jenny is Jenny. right. Jenny's never right. And who's echoing? Um, I'm always right. What are you talking about? Jenny's right. I'd agree. I'd be more attached to the pet, but I'd hate myself if I let a child die. The child might have died anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, um, Dan Life, Dan Life, I have to put you up. Oh. Where in that, in that context is W E or E? Not W H E or E. I hate to be the grammar Nazi. (laughs) Um, Dan Life won. He says dragons were real. No, Uh, no. Tusk says, I recorded my friend's kid crying and played it to her when we were out in public just to see her lactate all over herself. That's evil. (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) Nerdy says, what if I keep the child as a pet? What to replace your existing pet? Julie says, "Can I save the child and give it back? I'm not keeping it." Yes, that that that's the usual thing. <laughs> uh, Larry, I, 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 can I say I will? I will um, save the child if, on the condition, I get to save it by doing the uh, thing in South Park, the kick the baby thing. <laughs> kick the baby out the building. Only if it's Canadian. Uh, yeah, only works if it's Canadian. Kick the baby, don't I kick just... the baby. <laughs> uh, 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 Larry Lett says there is zero possibility that my pets will become terrorists. There is a small chance that the child could. Yeah, that's, well, that's a it, fair it, it argument. Pet, my pet would have saved the baby, and I wouldn't have to stay able to stay outside. <laughs> Tusk says, too late. You said I could have any pet I wanted. You can't go parachuting new claws into a deal once it's been agreed. I choose dragon, and that's the end of it. Right. Firstly, this is my game. I can keep adding fucking rules all I want. Secondly, it has <laughs> to be a lie. And you often do. <laughs> and you often do. <laughs> um, See, I think the one was it Tusk said earlier about the Phoenix. Um, I actually just think that should be allowed to stand just for sheer creativity. Well, the part no. where the phoenix probably started the damn fire. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. Blame uh, Tusk's phoenix. There you go. Nerdy says, what if it was baby Hitler? I if you knew it not. was baby Hitler. Oh, you can't throw no. that into this. You can't. That's bullshit. <laughs> who had? Well, if I answer still the pet, then it's still the pet. No, 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 no. So. no, no. But Uhan was adamant that we would save the baby. What if it was baby Hitler and you knew it was baby Hitler? And what if that was the thing baby? that changed baby Hitler's well, yeah, You save the baby. You save the baby because it's baby Hitler, not Hitler Hitler. <laughs> yeah, the baby. You now Hitler. are intervening in that thing becoming Hitler Hitler. You Which actually, to... <laughs> yeah, it could change. It could change him. You could, yeah, you Al- could. Alternate timeline. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've, um, the experimental observational um, uh, dynamics of the whole thing I will say we've, I'm sure we've had the baby Hitler question before Dave and um, 
And I, I'll give the same answer that I gave then. That I'm not actually convinced that killing Hitler as a baby would have stopped the rise of Nazism. Here, here. It would have been another scapegoat. And mm. one just as fucking bad. Well, unless you raise that baby to not become that Hitler. Yeah, but That's someone else would. Rescue... Hitler was a person for the time. Yeah, that it was a pro- Hitler was a product accept- of the time as, as well. You know, I don't accept that there would automatically have been somebody who was just as bad as Hitler. It's entirely possible for a politician to come into the kind of situation Germany was in in at the time and to work hard and to resolve it in a in a practical domain. I don't yeah, but, disagree. Yeah, uh, We're not Jenny, going down that route right Jenny, now. Hitler no, wasn't created in a vacuum. So it's a political manner that doesn't kill six million people. Hitler well, was not what... created in a vacuum. Shut up! He was, for Christ's sake. <laughs> no more uh, Hitler. We're done. <laughs> yeah, ju- just a tus- Tusk's uh, comment there. Yeah, I could feed him to my newly converted Jewish dragon. Thanks for that, Tusk. That's great. Yandiri says, save baby Dave. I'm not sure whether or not that was to me or that I was the baby. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if it was baby Dave, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd definitely go with the cat. (laughs) Stool says, make a pet pie. Pet pie. Yes. Right. What if it's Ashley? Actually, I, I'm going to give the answer nobody said yet. Just save my fucking self. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just don't bother with either of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, Jer, that is dark. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> I'm not repeating it. Oh, come on. Oh, no. ouch. <laughs> ouch. Tusk says, imagine Ooh. the size of a dragon's foreskin. The dragons even get circumcised when they convert to Judaism. I'm going to have to find a rabbi. <laughs> you don't have a dragon! Can you stop? <laughs> and he's now discussing getting it circumcised. <laughs> You're evil. Dragons should be complete. You should not be amputating parts of their dick. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I don't know. Right. What, is, what does dragon dick taste like? <laughs> I don't know. I've never met anyone with a big enough mouth. So wait, <laughs> would a dragon have two penises then? What? Why would it? Wait, why would a dragon have two penises? Because it's How like a hell? lizard. Do well, lizards have two penises? That's, um, penis and the other one that's is one of the. Is that one of those uh, sex myths you believed in from the previous questions? No, I just <laughs> looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes what and lizards have two penises. Yeah. Is this because the females have evolved to have two vaginas, as a, one as a trick and one as a... I don't know. No, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Live says, what the fuck? Where did this conversation go? I completely agree. <laughs> Nerdy says, stop dragon circumcisions. I agree. Ox says, I want to see the one who has the balls to circumcise a dragon. Dragon this is going to get flipped. <laughs> well, apparently it's not Tusk because he's not a rabbi. But yeah, definitely we need to move on from this question. Tusk is not going to let this go. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here, for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recruited least questions, click here.